Okay, let's take a look at the map Blight Expert. So I'm doing this solo. Um, this is the deck I built. It will play one fire orb, the nature orb, and then two more fire orbs. So it's three fire, one nature. It plays mainly commons and uncommons. I'm not even sure I have even one rare in it. Nope, no rare. Um, we're gonna start a fire using our early units to destroy the first camp at this point. And then we're gonna do some shenanigans, running back, defending, attacking, defending, and trying to stay alive. Um, at some point we end up having only one orb and then we have to clear this tier 3 camp with only our one orb. Um, it's possible, you will see how, it, how to do it. And then we are going to clear the game slowly but steadily. Um, you have to start at position 4, otherwise you are missing on the orbs on, and monuments on the left side. If you start on 3, you are don't have anything at, at this point, but you have it on the right side, but we can't clear the map from the third position. Um, because we need to kind of dodge the giant wave and you can only do it um, at this spot or if you play on one, I think, you can do it on this spot. But we do it from the four and Let's go. Let's see if I'm gonna manage this on the first try. I did a small test before and had to redo a few cards in the deck. So we're gonna start with a few Sunstriders. We need about five to six Sunstriders to clear the camp. Um, And we're gonna build them on the way. So our first, you see the monument isn't here for the other player. Um, we are going to kill some birds and then we're gonna kill a tower and then we're gonna kill this camp. It will be really close on time. We will have like, I don't know, 10, 15 seconds left. But it's okay. Um, pull this back so it doesn't die and you lose units, spreading the damage a bit. Okay, now we keep our four units, we go up and build a blaster cannon, so we can take care of the units. We can build this here, in this spot, and we're gonna set the units here so we can defend it, and the units heal up, and we spawn other units. Once it is built, we're gonna pull the Bandit Sky Drakes to the Blaster Cannon and we disable the tower and then kill the tower later. Okay, let's take the units that are full. No, pull the Sky Rakes. These are two, there are four Sky Rakes. You see it. The two sp just respawned that we killed earlier. So we wait for them to, to pull to us. It's good that the blaster cannon is still on enrage. We just focus on killing the tower. Our blaster cannon will deal the rest. We summon our Sunstrider and I'm really good on time. Not used to having so much time left. So I'm going to, to take a seventh unit just to be sure I'm not losing a lot. After they are healed up, we will just focus completely on the bandit tent. Take the chest, you can take it later. And now we focus completely on the camp and ignore everything else. We're going to come back and then clear this out. But we will have some nomads to make this a bit easier. 
and pull back. We will lose some units, but it's okay. Uh, we only lost two. That's fine. That's we need five Sun Striders. We're going to set up a defense because since there is no player, we have to defend the wave. To do this, we're going to set up two makeshift towers for a lot of knockback, and we are using some fire bombs to. Get uh, take up all the damage from the snipers. Now I'm not sure if I wanna defend from this spot or I wanna wait here. And when they attack my base, I'm just going in the in the rear and kill them. Okay, we need three. So that every sniper has a target and they take more than one hit. And now we will see how it goes. We should pull back a bit more. You don't have to do anything like manual self-destruct. If they get destroyed they automatically um, explode and deal the damage. After ki killing this and defending the spot, we're going to take this camp. I mean, we're going to clear it. We are not taking it right now. So, yeah, this is how it goes. They shoot to advance. Uh, after they are. Uh, get focus I'm sending a melee unit so they don't deal a lot of damage and get distracted and I wasn't paying attention that all the range units kill them that's okay nothing really happened I mean it did happen but it's still in the green. It's just the longer you take, the harder it will be. Was a bit unlucky. I attacked maybe too soon. The melee unit killed a lot of my stuff. And now the tower is just shooting random stuff. Okay. Now we need, yeah, four units are enough. I only maybe need like three. Um, we need some nomads. We need three. Okay, and now we go up here. We don't really need to heal because the nomads will do all the tanking. We are going to get another unit, I guess. Don't want to lose too much time. Okay. Now we, we, we pull them here. So we don't get shielded. And now we focus on killing them. See, nomads are doing easy work and don't really take damage. Okay, now we just use the nomads to tank to, to face tank the damage while our archers just shoot them because if we go near, we trigger the bouncer and we don't want him right now here. shooting at our sun striders. Now we trigger the bounce and now we can go in. Or like more we have to and focus him down. I said focus. 
Okay, after we kill, we clear this, we take out the tower. <coughs> and then we get some time. Okay, so we don't build a monument right now. Mm, I'm taking an archer unit and set it up here. Um, while we wait for the archers to check out when the big wave is coming, we are going to clear this one. Pull them here. We will lose this position completely for now, we, we will get it later back. But right now we are going to lose it. We're using the notepads to tank because they heal up. Um, don't you? Oh, okay. So here's are the guys. Now they go back to their position, but it's okay. Okay, now we lost our monument, we are going to send one guy back. Because we need to build one, otherwise we, we lose the game. Maybe I shouldn't have uh, sent in the slowest units I have. But it should be fast enough when we build the orb. The second one, and now we're building the monument. Okay. Also, we are going to lose this monument soon um, after the next attack wave. Um, and then we, but we have to defend it first. So, uh, about one minute in, we will get an attack wave. It will spawn all the time and we're going to get rid of them and we're using makeshift towers to help us with this. We use like two towers and one firebomb. And now we wait. Um, one of the more important things is not to kill them completely. But let let one of the do we have some error? Yeah, yeah, here. One of those steel guards live. Because if we kill with them too fast, then the next big attack will come with another wave of those dudes, and then they just block your monument, and then you can't rebuild it, and then you lose. So right now begins the one of the harder parts. Okay, guys, where are you? Didn't you didn't you kind of get? Yeah, here they are. Okay, they will pull themselves to the towers because the towers will start start attacking. And then we are just going to focus down the charge dudes. And when everything is near, we just explode and kill some of the charge dudes. Now we get rid of this one. We don't care about the monument taking damage. Now we kill this one. And. We just shoot those down a bit to like 200 HP. Okay. And now we will slowly get killed over the next. Uh, maybe I did too much damage. They are getting attacked from the monument too. Yeah, it's okay, it's still fine. 
now they are dead. Fuck. No, I didn't pay attention and I lost two nomads. Which is kind of unfortunate, but not a big problem. We clear the camp. So we don't get a respawn. Okay, now we get we trigger the big wave from here. But it still takes a bit of a time to get here. Um you see this giant wave. Okay, now we pull back. Um we will set up another archer here so we see when the wave is clear. The one dude, no, damn it. This is the dude. Ah. So please don't, don't attack the guys. We pull them up top here. Now, uh, that's, a, that's the thing about timing. If I did it right, the waves will attack separately. And after the first units and enter the range of your monument, you just destroy it so they run through and you don't lose time. And then if you see them here, you can go back and build your monument. And then you don't get a giant attack wave anymore because they are already stacked all here and then you have to clear out this camp. Yeah, now you, you kill this because there are a lot of liars. And they get triggered by the monument, and now we get into position. Also, if you are too fast, uh, then you trigger the snipers that are still at the back. Okay, and after I do this, I will have to... Okay. You get into position just to make sure you don't get... Um, okay, we should be in the clear now. Now we build it. I am. I will have to check my cat because she's crying a bit. It will take me like a minute. I will defend the wave here, and then I'm gonna continue with the map. Okay, that's my attack. Be right back. Okay, it seems like my guys defended it. I can get rid of this, I can build the energy wells, I can build this energy well. well. <laughs> I'm not going to get this one because it's probably getting aggroed somewhere and then I'm just gonna lose it. Okay, so now I, I'm going to prepare to take this spot with tier 1 not that easy so we need need some preparation we need some towers that do knockback that should be enough we will need a lot more sun striders 
That's for sure. We need like six, five units is okay. And then we're going to start slowly. Eat through the camp. Okay, now we can attack this spot. And then we trigger kind of everything. Okay, that, that's new. But that's okay. Just kill it. The lands are only seem like they're dangerous, but in reality they are not. Just get rid of the tower. And okay, let, let's focus it down. And now focus down the second thing. Okay, now we disable this one. And get back, because now the attack wave is coming. That's a bit of a bummer. I hope I don't get a respawn. Otherwise, I will have to do it again. But we have like four towers, so this will get cleared up fast. Okay, we need to focus on this unit because it's so scattered, a lot of the shots getting misguided and don't deal a lot of damage. But I guess, as you can see, they can't really fight back, they just take up damage. Okay, and now we disable the tower. Don't go too near, now you can. And now we get rid of it. Um, we are going to set up two fire bombs to kill this thing. Nomad, get back, get back, get back, get back. Okay, because now we triggered it. This isn't great. The fire bombs aren't ready. We might lose a fire bomb. Okay, so we send up one one dude to distract it a bit. Now we detonate two fire bombs and finish him with an eruption. Now we set up a small defense here. Now a few things will change, and what I mean is the attack wave that attacks us isn't going to be all the small dudes, but we will have a sniper and some, some medium units. But it's not a problem, and I, I, I didn't use roots, I intend to use strangleholds, and you will see why. Also I need breeding grounds, really. Um, now, my next part is getting to tier 3, and there are two options. One is getting rid of this giant, giant army and getting my orb back. That's a normal way. Then the second is getting through here, but this is also like insane. Double gunners, and they have a, an artillery here, and lots of wild drakes. So, this is the last small. Attack wave. I will help clear it out. They will start building the breeding grounds. And I'm just exploding this. Okay. Just ignore them, they will die, and then the spawn is delayed. 
So for now, I'm just taking those guys back so they can chill a bit and defend the spot. Good. So we have three different unit types here, and I need to take care of them all. Um, one are the wind drakes. Kill them, we just need to set up some blaster cannons at this spot. Don't set it too near, otherwise, it will trigger them right now. So, six are enough, you will lose most of them, but it's okay. You don't really care about them. And then you can set up even like, don't run around and pull this please. Okay, now we'll wait until they're built. Um, we will use a lot of Morkle traps to kill the rest and some lava fields to get rid of the snipers in the back because they will otherwise shoot everything down. Mm. Also, I'm not sure why I have... Oh, I have Strangle also, I have Drakes as a second range defense wave. Okay, now I will pull the drakes. Come on, little drakes. Come here, come here, yeah. Good drakes, good drakes. Hoping one sh shoots, yeah, nice. They shoot a Mockley trap and I'm doing this. Because the snipers are going to start shooting down. Okay, now they are gone. No more drakes. one problem less and now we have to defend on this spot just getting rid of the small units and making sure not going to go here yeah otherwise you you pull the big turtle get back get back get back and then you pull the snipers and then it starts going downhill Now we wait a bit, so the turtle goes back. I guess I'm just... I'm using drakes anyway, so I guess I'm just spawning too. And clear this small camp out. And this is the way... Oh, we get a... No, this is not a double. This is the tech wave I was talking about. Um, I will use an oink. Okay, you can get rid of those okay I forgot to set up string holes whatever it's fine okay we are going to kill this one and I'm setting a mock litter for the next ones good now kill this one and I'm going to make the Morkle trap. That's th that's why we don't take the power well. We trigger the turtle. We set up a lot of Morkle traps like just to make sure everything dies we, we need like nine because not everything is going to come at us. Okay, let's set up 10 Mockley traps, we get some drakes. So we have some ranged firepower against everything like that. Still lives. And then... We will wait a bit so we get energy for the, the first blast. We get the drakes into position. And then we start pulling. We see the snipers, we have to pull them kind of here, a bit near, so we can lava field them. Oh, only the snipers came, this is good. Okay. 
Oh no. There are more snipers than I thought. Then go summon a unit. And lava fuel the snipers. Can also eruption them. Most important part is they are dead. Doesn't matter what it takes. We can even do this. Yeah, now they're all dead. And we can focus on the turtle. Like this. Okay. Now we will we will check how much is left that can shoot air units. Yeah, we still have some left. Look at this. Come on, guys. Come on here. Two more clear traps are waiting for you. Just for you. Look at this one. Beautiful wave. Oh, we have to get rid of it. So, this one can't attack air anyway. So, we just kill it, everything. And we need two more drakes. And then we have to. Oh, we somehow pull, pulled the bandit soul hunter. Amazing. I'm guessing my units ran into him. So, give me two drakes, I need to get rid of this one after he starts channeling. Okay, so can we focus on the main thing? Okay, this is the main thing. Okay, he is kind of stuck. This is kind of good for us. He will like take 300 years to die, but that's okay. Okay, get back. Don't lose too many drakes. Our mount is limited. Okay, this is good. This is gonna take a lot of time for them to deal with. Okay. Now let's finish what we started. Get back before you die. Dump Drake. Okay, let's just pull them to the Marklays. We have enough Marklay traps. And we can set up the Drakes here. So we don't get attacked, but. I just shoot everything that, that runs around here. Oh no, my nomad is slowed. Doesn't matter. Come, come big guys. And please die all. And you can die too. And now the drakes take care of everything. Set up a new mortar, more clay, and don't forget about it. Okay, now we have to get rid of those. We need a nomad, we need to take this one because now we, it's about time. Because the big waves will start to respawn after we kill them all. And so we need to set up a defense, a proper defense, with some twilight bombardments on this choke point. Get this one, okay. Let's kill all the stuff here. After he starts channeling, channel, channeling, we kill him with the drake. And we kill this one with the drakes. And we build everything and another fire. 
and we kind of need some towers to root the enemies which also will take some sniper shots but it's okay we kind of will use swamp trick later to get rid of them anyway It's okay if you lose the drags, we don't want anything else here. So now we are starting to set up our defense. These are cheap, so that's good. I'm not sure this is enough, we will see. So he, he, he killed my Skyper Drake, that's okay. We are going to set up some bombardments here. Oh, I forgot about my nomads, okay. I have some more nomads. Uh, does this have a minimum range? Yeah. So we set up one more here, and that will make sure that everything that gets in the range will die. Okay, let's take a couple of like this. We don't need those guys anymore. We got what we wanted. Now we have our breeding ground here. We don't need this one. We don't need the drakes. Now we just have to check about the shaking earth. Okay, now we can do two things. We can go just defend this route from the small units and take out this camp and this camp. Or we can just take this first, go to T4. And I guess this is a lot of struggling all the time. So we just go to T4 and seal the deal so we need eight eight is the magic number because we use unity and unity is all about eight units and why swamp tricks because they can crowd control even if you have no ground presence that's the most important uh, part about them and we just start using it Okay. Now we need to take out the most dangerous things first. So first off, sleep. And reset and sleep and heal. And kill the... And get the fuck out. Otherwise, they're all going to die. I didn't see the patrol. Heal them up. And we lost one. Yeah, one is okay. We can resummon them. But we took out some important building. Now we can take out the units. Oh, we lost another one. It's okay. We have enough. And as you can see, this is defense is working. Good, heal them up. And they even kill this little guy up here. Okay, now let's try not getting a wind hunter patrol. Also, let's kill them, otherwise they are going to buff the patrols again. Okay, um, how we are doing this? So we kill this one first. And we sleep those dudes. Sleep, I said sleep, and we heal. Okay. 
Okay, now we kill the building. As you can see, the patrols already resetted. It's okay. Need more, one more attack wave. Just even one shoot at him? No, of course not. Why? Okay, now we get, we take this run out. Before it can reload, it attack. Nice. Take out the tower. Take out this tower. And now we have freed our fir fourth monument and not too soon. Oh yeah. Let's do this. Can you attack the, the, the big guy please? Maybe I should have set up some more players. Um, okay, you can get rid of stuff here. Let's see. Oh boy. Look at this amount of units. Let's summon some drakes to defend this. I guess some more players will do it. Yeah, we need to defend this wave once. And then we have T4. Okay, now let's get rid of this and get our unit through. Heal. Okay, let's see. I think most of the things died. Good, and nope, most of the things lift, interesting. Oh, this is the wave that stops here, okay, that's all good too. Can you go where I sent you? Thank you. But we have to get rid of the snipers, otherwise they will get pulled in. Okay. So far so good, we will summon some huge drakes and then kill everything on this spot. But I will wait a bit. We will still get attacked because the attacks are coming from here. But this point is so far safe, only some wind hunters will patrol again. Okay, let's see, we need like two of these and let's say two of these and then we are going to clean this up just pull them up come here come here I have some more place for you we are not going to use the wave. Mortals are just going to... Oh, okay, at least one. We are going to use Unity Foe and... Oh, oh boy. There is more than I expected. There's a lot more than I expected. And we get, have to get rid of this one. Uh, heal it up and kill everything else. Okay. So, oh, I didn't pay attention. I didn't pay attention. Right, there is another attack wave. Um, but we defended. Now we are going to get rid of this Drake. We are going to 
heal a bit more, heal a bit up. Get back here. And build a breeding ground. And kill this stuff. And start taking over the energy because we are losing our energy quite fast. You see, we only have 800 left altogether. So we need some new energy wells. We just use one giant worm because of the L counter to protect us from the wind hunters. Yep. Build the well. Spread the garrison, clear this spot, take the energy wells. Here's another energy well. We are going to take over. Now let's check what it takes here. Yeah. This is doing fine. Another energy well and a chest. And now we are killing this one first. And then we are killing the big guy. Just healing should be enough. No way getting rid of the rest. Okay. Now let's take this camp out. So we stop the giant waves of attacking. And I think the biggest wave was from the top spot. That was all that was at the top. Orbs. And that's at least how I think it is. We will maybe see it in the replays. I don't think I need anything more than a regrowth to deal with this situation. is gone. Yeah, we, we need to deactivate it so we can. Because our main firepower is dragons and it's bad if dragons can't attack. Then we have, we'll have to basically kill him with nomads and it's a bit harsh. Okay, now we need to take this out so we get some more energy wells. Let's heal it up. And let's set up another green pool. So Yeah, there's nothing that will survive here, right? Just heal it up. And I need to do the same here. And heal our dragons. We don't want to lose dragons. Don't miss you. Don't need dragons. Okay, this is our attack force, consisting of seven dragons. We will clear out all the spawning camps, so we don't have to defend anymore. Let's do 
to the measure and a small boost. Here we have to take off all the buildings. The only issue with doing the solar is it takes a lot of time because you have to basically clear the whole map. And this is what we were going to do. But we start with the nearest spawning camps. Uh, because they are spawning wind hunters all the time. First we get rid of them. I think it's here. Oh, take, get rid of this. Otherwise, my whole army is getting just paralyzed all the time. Okay, a few less stuff that is going to bother me. I can ignore the everything else. Kill this guy. I don't have any wheels or something, so it's a bit tedious and I have to spend a lot of healing spells. I don't care a lot about this guy. Um, why is this even nearly gone? What happened here? I'm confused. Oh! Keep them safe. And we lost one. We just ran into a big wave. And we lost another one. That's how it goes. Sometimes we lose dragons. And then you respawn them. Because you have to pay attention to a lot of things like this. This is fine. But this will ease a lot of stuff. Okay. Let's get a nomad back. And let's get some more energy. Also, it's good if we can spawn on different parts of the map. Now let's take the camp and then nothing will spawn from this side anymore. I'm taking the energy wells. Heal it up. Check what is happening. Okay, everything is fine. Take more energy wells. We can always respawn our dragons when needed. energy wells, you see another attack wave. From this side they are all running around the map. I'm not even sure why, but they are. Let's give them some bonus. I'm just making sure I clear out everything. Normally you don't need to kill all, everything, everything, but I won't do it, because I need all the sweet energy. Now, what? Okay, it's just a wind hunter. The earth is shaking. But it, it, it's not that many anymore, right? Yeah. Let's kill the small stuff. And now we have 75 seconds cooldown on the regrowth. That's a bit harsh, but it's okay. We can just continue to spawn dragons without breeding grounds, no problem. Look at this army. He 
spiel dem ab. And plus crowd control. And heal him again. And now even the my second healing spell is going on cooldown soon. But I'm through the most of the stuff. There's a lot of things to kill. There was my nomad. It's okay. Enough energy to spawn one more. And after we get through the circle completely here, we can start clearing the bosses. The most important thing is to have a unit that can deal with the Ravenheart and with the Bandit Lords and this is our Drakes. Our Dragons, Fire Dragon. A lot of damage. Only one big camp left. And then we get some some time to celebrate. Okay. I will have to uh, I lost some oh I lost the spot. Okay, doesn't matter. I will get it back right now. It's not a big issue. This is the last garrison. No, this I need this one. I still need one. Let's get through this one. And something is coming because the earth is shaking. is a normal patrol, I don't care. I wanna clear this camp. Oh, there you are, okay. Where did you spawn? I, I guess they spawned here while I was. Let's get rid of the stuff. Okay. And last camp and we are done and then we can just finish. I mean, you can probably just take the spot, activate the counter magic, spawn a bunch of dragons and then go straight to the boss. But then you get attacked and then if it fails, you lose your orbs and this is... Okay, can you kill the building? Because the gun just gonna spawn endlessly. Okay. Now get rid of those wind hunters. Because they're getting on my nerves. Okay, the dragons decided to, to just clear this out. That's okay. That's fine with me. Just to need sure they don't die. Because I don't have a tier 4 healing spell, but I can get rid of the spawning camp. That's good enough. That's good enough. Get more energy so I have more energy. Dragons and clear this side. Okay, now let's get here. And then we spawn our dragon, so we have 10. Also, you have another orb here. So, if you decide to go with your tier 2 and get your tier 3 here, you can jump to tier 4 on this side. Pretty fast, but it's also easy to go this side. 
this is really bothering because of the wind hunters. If you can get rid of them pretty easy, go for it. Otherwise, take the safe route. Also, if you play Zolo, you can put in spells, units, or buildings that require more than four orbs because you get one extra. So you can um, have like three fire, two nature. Just making sure I'm not losing any more. And I have so much energy, I don't even need breeding grounds, I just need to spam units. They are still attacking me. It's a bunch of dudes. Don't forget we have one treasure chest here and one here. And I think that's all. Just buff them up and watch how they kill everything. back okay just focus him down no don't kill my dragons all my unity is are gone yeah okay I lose a dragon that's okay It's okay. Did they just shield the prison? No, they, they shielded the, the guy. That's also interesting. So we need to save up Unity and a regrowth for Blight. my nomad to the chest I guess we also need this to kill this one first because it deals a ton of damage that is only dealing a bonus damage to L Please not kill my dragons. I will have to spawn two more. Okay. Let's focus on Blight and then we can maybe sneak another treasure chest. Yeah, we have enough damage. And yes, this takes like an hour because I have to clear all the map and I'm doing this slowly and carefully because it's more horrible if this goes wrong and then I have to redo this after half an hour. Also, I have to show you everything. And I think that Oh, we have one. Tre no, I think I can't take it. Go, dragons. I'm still defeating Captain Blight. Oh, I didn't defeat him. Ah, that's okay. That's nice. Means I can still get the chest. Another 100 gold. Not what I needed, but I get it. I think that was every chest. Let's finish Blight. 
bonus damage, give some shielding. Wait a bit until the dragons are enraged, so we'll deal more damage. And then heal up. Uh, get out of the maelstrom. I don't like having frozen dragons. But I'm not playing around. I I'm really serious. I'm not sure if we have a chest here. But I can't check it anymore. And that's how you do Blight 4 player as a solo. And with like comments and uncomments. I don't have, think I have this. Oh, I have this one. Okay. But I don't have this one. That's it for this guide. Thanks for watching. See ya.